Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. So, we've gotten all that out of the way, all that stuff last time, you know, distracting the guard and whatnot. And now we can finally go... Oh, is that the guard still? <laughs> That's the guard we knocked out. Okay, now we can finally go down here and see what's up with this place. Look at his hair. Whoosh! And down. Alright, now we can go talk to the people. Hello, people. I used to work upstairs, but I was forced to come down here. Cooking for the laborers morning and night. There's no time to rest. And... Any, anybody else? Hello, little girl. Oh, you were brought here from upstairs, too. At this hour, all the adult workers are at the construction site. Hmm. Outhouse. <laughs> Seems kind of suspicious. My grandson died on the job the other day. He always said working here would make him a noble someday. Hmm. Very shady indeed, and I think Rita's right about them working like that. here and a group of those red eyes looks like you more has become their new client hey do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss it sure looks that way from here <laughs> the guy who talks all funny that's a great way to describe him get to work no slacking off you worms Oh, look, it's Teagle. You can tell by the way he sounds. Look, that's... It's Teagle! That's just what I said, Carol. Shut up. If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rock throwing Yuri. You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. Your face makes me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger, get rid of them. Yeah. 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 Look at that creepy face. You see it? Yeah. Nothing personal, you see? Just business. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some new guys around here. Let's uh, let's go get a nice magic lens of all of them. Jaeger, he's got a good bit of health. Shall I heal you? And yeah, they're all the same. Oh, they got a good bit of health too, don't they? Oh wow, I'm taking a lot of damage, ain't I? Give me help. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay. There we go. Oh, he's too far away. I just wasted the whole thing. There we go. Another one. I'm losing a lot of health here. Let me go help out Estelle. I think she needs... You don't need an apple gel. She needs a... Not poison. What is... What is this? Is it poison? It was purple. Contamination. What is contamination? <laughs> I don't even know. Search online later. Oh! Oh, wow! I'm dead. I'm so dead right now. <laughs> Okay, uh, 
Give me a life bottle, and then we'll give Estelle a life bottle, and then we'll sort this out. Nope. You're gonna die. Okay, so this is my plan now. <laughs> We're going back to the old plan of getting everyone to follow me, and then we bring back Estelle. Oh, no, no. Oh, wow, that worked a lot poorly than I planned. A lot more poorly. Hmm. That didn't work. And they were never heard from again. And they were never heard from again. Okay, let's uh, let's take another stab at that. Hopefully I won't die again. Alright, let's take another stab at this, shall we? <laughs> gonna, gonna do this one a little smarter than last time. Okay. Oh, really? Come on, I just got shot. I also want to figure out how much health this guy's got. Oh, okay, he's actually almost dead. Well, not almost, sorry, halfway. So if I can get him dead, that'll be one less guy to worry about. Cut. Oh, they're vicious, aren't they? Oh, I missed on the thingy. Oh, I got sealed. Sealing is bad. Okay, can I have a life bottle, please? All right, let's let's take a look at everyone's health. He's about full. He's nowhere near dead. I'm gonna focus on him last. I'm gonna sort of let them take the attacks. Um, although Estelle needs to be healed, otherwise we're kind of messed over. But if we can get rid of these little guys, we can probably do a lot better. I'd imagine. If I could get a life bottle. And then distract them like usual. <laughs> At the very least, we're not dead yet. I mean, we have died, but we're not doing too badly. He, he's very bad at attacking, at the very least. That's good. Oh wow! He just broke through my shield. Oh my gosh, that's... Did you see that? He just dropped me like 500 health. Wow, okay. Um, I'm, I'm slightly worried about running out of magic bottles at this point. Let me heal up. Estelle also needs to be healed. Let's see, can I use item throw yet? No, I can't. That's something I'm working on, I believe. Okay, back, back to fighting the smaller enemies. Okay, he's only got four, like, I don't know, two-fifths of his health left, so... That's a, that's a good... There we go. Oh, crap, he's got over-limit. That's bad. Leave it to me! Oh, I hate it when you miss those things. Those are that's really annoying. Okay, so we have one remaining life bottle. We're gonna use it on Estelle. Hopefully, they'll leave her alone. I'm gonna give her an apple gel just in case. Oh, oh, wow! No, no, don't die, don't die. I can't take much more. Don't overdo it. Hope it'll just leave her alone and focus on me for a second. I can, I can deal with that. She needs to use a lemon gel herself. <laughs> that 
That's that's the most important thing right now is for her to stay alive. I guess me being alive too is kind of important. Stab and kick. Oh my gosh, do you see how much damage he does? If she didn't heal me, I might have died. And he, and he like completely doesn't take any damage. <laughs> or he doesn't get knocked down, which is the most important part of taking damage is knocking down your enemy. Oh wow, why didn't I heal yet? I thought I gave myself a gel. See, wh what happened there? I just gave myself a gel, didn't I? Oh no, that was a TP gel, wasn't that? That was. This is the last health gel. Nobody's okay, we're gonna die. Your famous swing, okay. If you could just focus on healing, we'd be okay. And I could get him off her tail too, that would be another big thing. <sighs> How much health does he have? Oh, he's not doing that great. And, and then he can do that thing where he can switch to different people, like halfway through his attack. Ah, oh, he broke, he broke my, oh. You know how annoying that is? That's like the very essence of being annoying. And then he can string those together, that's, that's not good. That's so bad. I'm gonna have to just use all of our limit bottles on this. There we go. You have won. Yes, he's dead. We killed him. How could the Barely. Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. We won by the skin of our teeth right there. No more life bottles. No more health. Um, the only thing we had was Estelle's healing ability, which, you know, if she died, we were messed over if I died. We had no attack and then she was going to die, so... <laughs> the skin of our teeth. And only repeat leveled up, really? The Flynn Brigade. Well, send him away. We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine. I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? It's called Please smoke. Step this way. Move, move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! You meddling kids. What an original line. And your dog, too. <laughs> if we don't follow them, they'll... Wait, our job is to rescue Teagle. But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? <laughs> yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait. Gotta run, Flynn. Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for. <sighs> and yet she's gone. Ah, uh, here we go. Out of the city, and chasing down Jaeger, I believe? That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word 
word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding Crazy? some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking an accent. lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... I guess we chased off after him. Yeah, okay, so that's where we came from. And we chased off after him this way. Um... I don't know where he's at. Oh, must be this new little area of land we haven't looked at yet. Maybe... Yeah, this way. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find my way around. It's very cloudy. You have to use a mixture of your mini-map and the actual overworld you're running around in. Can't quite see in the overworld very well. There's a bridge over here, though. Let's just jump on that. Ooh, hello there. I like the troll guarding the bridge. I forgot you can't shoot a little thing out that only makes your map bigger. It is useful now. I can see the whole thing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fight him. Let's work together. Oh wow, they're dead! I forgot. Later on, we uh, Estelle can learn an ability called Resurrection, which, you know, just like any of her other magic attacks, she can uh, use it, and she can actually bring someone back. You know, just like a a, a life bottle would. It's so much more useful because it's a lot easier to carry, you know, TP than it is to carry uh, life bottles. But for now, we just gotta use life bottles. <laughs> I like it when you enter the battle and everyone's just laying around. Ooh, another one. was asking for Estelle to come back with him, right? The knights can't help thinking that the best place for a princess is a castle. He's just worried that he won't be able to keep track of her. But Estelle decided to set out on this journey on her own, and you want to respect that. I haven't really thought about it all that much. The knights are bound to keep following you, though, as long as Estelle's with you. And what kind of a guild would we be if we didn't get into trouble with the knights? I don't think <laughs> fighting with the knights is actually a guild requirement. Uh, that's funny. Cutscene? There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we, anyway? A forest in central Tobikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. You know we can see it from here, right? <laughs> we should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Qmore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware a brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, uh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining! Oh yeah, she wasn't around when we were talking about this, was she? to ask the same questions myself. Oh. Huh? Hello there! Where'd you come from? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven It's the Raven Great. the Great! Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. Raven, join the party. And we're back. Hunger is the best spice. I like this uh, conversation, too. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling, too. I can wait. Though it's been a little difficult. Uh, hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Uh, Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish <laughs> reading this book, okay? Uh. 
And to the harbor, which hopefully we can get to without any more fighting, maybe? Yes, we made it. Back in town. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to stay. I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Should I get your should I get you pansy some tissues? Or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry. Alright, alright. Let's go! To the inn. Anyway, this is where we need to stop off for today. Um I had to cut out a little bit of video, so hopefully it comes out at a good time. And uh yeah, but Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, enjoyed the fight between us and Jaeger, and the awesome dialogue. I'm still astounded by this thing, that's why I do this every time that I'm getting around when I'm talking, because it's so weird. I didn't know you could do this. Woo anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you oh, next time, and we'll listen to that dialogue. Bye.